Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber. In this video, we have another Puzzle Crate unboxing. This is the August box. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Oh boy, what do we have here? Um, oh, there's another thing. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay, so in this box, we have two puzzles. We have the Ghost Pyraminx and the six axis curvy rhombohedron. Let's go ahead and start with this one. So this says, newly released by Landland, this rhombohedron is a shape modification of the classic three x three axis cube. It is solved the same as a normal three x three with the additional step of center orientation. The overall shape and shape shifting makes it difficult to determine which piece is a corner, edge, or center. Like most Landland puzzles, the turning is smooth, but a little catchy. Overall, it's a great and somewhat challenging puzzle. Okay, another 3x3 shape mod. Love me some shape mods as always. Um, I'm really not sure what this is gonna look like, so I guess we'll find out. I've really never heard of this puzzle. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm familiar with the shape. As usual, it's like covered in dust. But um, I have a skew modification in this exact same shape. It's much bigger than this, but uh, yeah, this is... Uh, I'm familiar with the shape at least, but it's cool to see a 3x3 shape mod with a similar type of shape. So it's an octahedron, but it's kind of stretched uh, and it's also pillowed a bit basically. So this is the Skube shape mod that I was referring to. This one is much, much bigger, but this is also made by Lanlan. Okay, so this should definitely be a pretty easy puzzle to solve. Let's go ahead and actually do some turns first of all though. Um, yeah, it pretty much feels exactly like a standard Landland puzzle, Landland 3x3. Uh, not too great of turning, but not terrible. A bit slow, a bit too slow, but it's alright. Um, it looks like for the logos, we have the standard Landland logo as well as a DDR logo. I'm assuming the initials of the person who designed this puzzle. Um, so, let's go ahead and scramble it up. This should be a very easy solve. Also, we have a few different types of shapes for edges. We have what look like pretty standard edges, which have two colors, as well as one color edges, which look like Master Morphics edges. And then with, cor oh, whoops. <laughs> and then with corners, we have uh, similar to a Master Morphics, triangular corners, and then the small triangular corners. So nothing super out of the ordinary here in terms of shape. So, all right, um, pretty good scramble here. So just gonna do a little bit more turns. Okay. So um, I don't think, uh, I think I'll just go ahead and pick this as our starting center. So I don't know why I said starting like that, but <laughs> there we go. So match up one edge. Uh, I think it matches with this center here. Yep. We need a blue edge here. Yep, let me just rotate this. Actually, that's that edge is correct, so I want to preserve that. There we go. Let's rotate this center into place. Okay, and then for here, we need a white and red edge, which is here. And then this is in wrong. Oops. There we go. Okay. We need a red uh, corner here. You can go ahead and just do F2 all at the same time. Makes things a bit easier. Let's bring this in. So that edge matches there. Uh, we need a white corner here and then a white uh, edge. So you can go ahead and take this edge, pair it up, and then Insert it just like that. Oops, there we go. We need a uh, blue corner here and then a blue and orange edge. And that's already set up perfectly for an insertion. Awesome. And then we need a big corner here. We only have two of these big corners on the whole cube. So this is one of them. And then let's see, what orientation is this in? Okay, here we go. Let's just bring this edge out so that we can actually just put it in with the corner. There we go. All right, now on to last layer. Um, it looks like all of our edges are solved except for this corner, uh, which means we might have done something wrong in the bottom layer here. Maybe one of these corners needs to be rotated, but um, let's go ahead and just cycle 
all of these corners around. Okay, so uh, is this, oh wait, actually no, this is not a 90 degree rotation. This is 180 degrees, that's even easier. I was about to say, I don't think you can get a 90 degree only um, parity on a three x three shape mod. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Just 180 degree rotation, which is much easier to deal with. Okay, there's the solve. Uh, yeah, just a standard 3x3 shape mod, really nothing too difficult about this one, um, but uh, yeah, pretty nice shape, uh, nice addition to the collection. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Next one in here is the Ghost Pyraminx. So this says, produced by Lee Foon a few months ago, this Ghost Pyraminx is actually a shape modification of the Jinx Pyraminx, which is itself a shape modification of the Skube. Therefore, solving this puzzle should be the same process as solving the Skube. However, this puzzle is more difficult due to its shape-shifting abilities and center orientation. Its clicking mechanism makes it easier to line up the layers before making a turn. As long as you don't try to force any turns, it should perform well. Good luck. Okay, skewed shape mods are kind of my nemesis. I really don't like them. Uh, so we'll see how this works. Uh, I can solve a Jinx Pyraminx okay, uh, because I kind of don't really think of it as a skew. So maybe we can ap apply the same process. But first of all, this is a super cool looking puzzle. I'm really liking the kind of fractal design that I'm kind of getting here. And weird things like this, where you have two identical pieces that should not be next to each other. So with the ghost in the name, it implies that this needs to be misaligned to do other turns. So, okay. That's a very cool sound. That's just the, the clicking mechanism. It sounds like, yep, ball bearings. So that's cool. So to, to perform a turn, basically you have to kind of, it's actually really easy to tell because it'll click into place. And now everything's aligned and then you can do other turns like this. So, ooh, this one's a bit rough right here, but that's okay. Still performs okay. So this is the actual solved state right here. Um, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how to approach this. I'm trying to see how it relates to a Jinx Pyraminx. Um, I can see how it relates to a skew, right? Because it looks like this is a corner and these are your centers. Um, I'm assuming, I think like if we do another turn here, yeah, this is definitely a corner, which would make these the centers i think because i think this is also a corner oh yeah okay i don't even have to take it apart to tell honestly i can tell that these are centers so that means we have um corners here 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 and here and that means on this side we have corners here 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 and here and then our centers are here 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 here, here, and here. All right, let's go ahead and scramble it up. See if we can do it. Um, <laughs> Skew shape mods really confuse me. Um, just because of the odd way that they move, it's so unlike uh, a standard puzzle that it really throws me for a loop. But um, we're gonna give it a shot, basically. Just see how it works. That's some pretty crazy shape shifting as well. Pretty wild. So the trick is going to be to figure out where the layers are that um, are kind of separate from each other and make each half of the puzzle, which then you can then align into the proper shape. Um, so I guess we're just going to kind of start just turning this around basically and just seeing what matches up with what. Eventually we're going to get something that matches up just through sheer trial and error. See, there we go. That matches up. Actually, it doesn't. And I think also, too, we can use the carbon fiber stickers kind of as a guide to see what matches and what doesn't. Um, this definitely feels like it's in the right place, but maybe just the wrong orientation. Yeah, so this is right because the carbon fiber matches. So that's a nice little uh, trick. Definitely would be a little bit harder if it didn't have that. All right, let's see if we can find anything that goes next to this. Um... That actually looks like, oh no, 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 this is not right because like I said, the stickers don't match. So let's do a rotation, do another check. Uh, no. Let's see if we can rotate.
take something here. Anything at all. Okay, maybe on this side. Let's see if we can get another corner in. Seems like a very trial and error type of puzzle. I'm not sure how I feel about this. So that's not right. That's right, okay. We're making some kind of progress. We've got three pieces matched up. I'm not sure if the other pieces go on this side or on this side of these pieces. Probably should have paid a little bit closer attention to what the faces looked like. Oh, okay, hold on. We might actually have to ditch this because these pieces match up. I wanna see if I can get this corner to, to match up as well. Because it looks like we're making kind of some progress here. Actually though, here's the thing. We want one center with four corners around it because that's how a skew is done. Um, here it looks like we have two centers with one corner around it, which is not ideal. Here we have one center with two corners around it, so I think that's more progress actually. Despite how tempting this is, I think I might leave this alone. Here we have those two corners that were opposite of each other. That's a good sign. Whatever is up here is gonna be its own kind of face, and this is the bottom. I'm pretty sure, so that's good. I think if we means if we keep trying to build out in this direction somehow, we'll be making some kind of progress. Aha, there's another piece. Our last corner has to come on this side. Let's see if we can make that happen in some way. The problem is that I'm thinking the corner that goes here is from the other layer that's kind of you have to misalign with so i don't think it's going to match up with this piece okay honestly i'm going to spare you guys the next almost 45 minutes of me fiddling around with this puzzle i really just didn't get anywhere <laughs> i tried everything but this puzzle was just too confusing so i figured i'd just cut to the end where i basically give up How does this keep happening? I don't get it. I just, I don't understand. Yeah, all right, I'm done. No more for me. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, my brain hurts. Yeah, nothing against the puzzle itself. I mean, it's a perfectly fine puzzle, it's just, very difficult and skew shape mods just tend to always just fry my brain to its core just completely I'm just like I feel brain dead I don't know what it is about it but they are so difficult I, I don't get it I don't get how they work like skews I can understand just fine but skew shape mods not at all um, yeah all right that's about it. This is a fun puzzle though. Um, three by three shape mods, definitely my more my thing. Uh, but yeah, all right. That's about it for this month's Puzzle Crate. If you guys want to check out Puzzle Crate, the link will of course be in the description. It's a $30 a month subscription service and you get new puzzles sent to you every single month. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.